From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. So I want to show you something really, really cool. This is a piece of the Berlin Wall. Now check this out. It's hard to see with this light in here, right? So you can see the, the old spray paint on it from when it was graffitied. And what I love is the back of it. You can tell East German concrete because it's got all kinds of rocks and like mica and all that. It's not like fine powdery concrete like you'd see in most places. It's really rough. So this came from uh, when the wall fell. The, uh, there was a friend of my father's who was covering the story. And he, he scooped up a whole bunch of pieces, a suitcase full of pieces of the wall and brought them home because he understood the significance of it. And he gave this to my dad. And then that Christmas, my dad gave this to me. And I understood the significance of it immediately because I was in my senior year at Berkeley, about to go off in the world with my, with my music degree. And, and really, he, he was trying to basically tell me, I could tell in my father's own way, you know, there are going to be a lot of walls that are going to be in front of you that may prevent you from doing the things you want or the freedoms you want or the things you want in life. And just remember that no matter how permanent those walls may seem, they can come down with the right pressure and the right attitude. And so this has always been very symbolic for me. I always keep it around in my office. And occasionally I pick it up and I kind of marvel at it. And this, this little piece of history, this little chunk of history, um, does really help me understand that the power of what you believe in can propel you past the obstacles in your life. Now, later on, a very rich man told me, the obstacles in your life do not prevent you from living your life. The obstacles in your life are your life. And so... All in all, I know that voiceover is a career that is full of obstacles at every turn. No matter what you do, there's going to be something that may prevent you from getting where you want to go, whether that is the audition that you didn't get or the booking that you know, fell apart at the last minute. You know, whatever happens in voiceover, you know, there's good, there's bad, and then there are walls. And so what you have to do is you have to persevere. You can't give up. And part of what I wanted to talk about today was breaking down these walls. And I think that what we all have to start thinking about now, now that we're at the end of the year, is what are your plans? What are your future plans? What are your future goals? And what I like to do every year is I like to set myself a goal, right? At least one goal. And it's, I don't like to call it a New Year's resolution. I think that's kind of corny. And I think there's a weird kind of pressure that comes from it. So it's not necessarily something that you have to establish, you have to do by January 1st. Like, you know, like you have to pick the thing that the goal that you want to achieve. But you have to start thinking about it. I want you to start thinking about it. Now, last year, my goal, I had two goals. They were really very simple. One was I wanted to uh, book more work and make more money this year than last year, which is my goal every year. And I did that this year. And um, not only did I do that, but I, I blew past my expectations in a big way because I was really focused on my goals. And the second goal I had was to really kind of, and this was a goal that, that really occurred to me later on in the year, was I wanted to, I wanted to make this channel uh, better. I wanted to provide more information for people. I wanted to be a, a, a better resource for, you know, really voiceover stuff and for voiceover people to come and comment and talk and, you know, maybe we'd learn a thing or two. And one of the really amazing things that happened through this is that I've learned a lot from all of you out there. So, you know, I, I really owe you all a debt of thanks because it's part of your feedback that allows me to better understand what I'm hearing. And so if I can un understand and analyze what it is that I'm hearing, I can improve my product and make it better and more saleable. And, and that's exactly what I've been able to do the last few months because I set a goal of, of trying to establish this, this um, you know, this community of voiceover people that I would not only just provide information to, but I mean, I would get feedback from because there's a lot of experienced and cool people out there that are willing to contribute. And I love that. So, but I want you to set a goal, but, and I want you to set two goals, really. 
I want you to set the goal that is like the realistic goal, right? And whether that is in 2023 next year, you will book your first job or you will book more jobs than the previous year, or, you know, you're just going to get better at what you do. Set a goal that is very attainable. Do not set a goal that is not very attainable. Back when I was a writer, I had a buddy who, um, he, he set up him and a couple other writers, right? They set up this thing where they were going to do a million word challenge. They were going to write a million words <laughs> in one year, in that calendar year. And I broke it down and I'm like, you know, that's, that is a lot of words. That is essentially, you know, 3000 words a day, every day, you know, and that's, that's a lot. I mean, it may not seem like much, but every day as an average output, you know, 3,000 words a day. That is, um, that's a significant, uh, that's a significant investment in time that I felt was unrealistic. And, and, you know, unfortunately the whole thing fell apart within, within a few weeks. So try to set a realistic goal, right? Something that you know you can achieve because when you do that, you feel good about it. You can pin that little badge of honor on yourself. I did this. This is my merit badge. I did this. And it doesn't have to be a big, you know, complex thing. Make it a small thing, but something that is achievable, but not necessarily something that you can achieve within the next 24 hours or the next two weeks, you know, make it big enough that it's going to take some effort, but not so big that it's some kind of grandiose dream that can never be fulfilled. And then make a bigger, make a bigger wish for your career. You know, whether that is you're going to book something really big or you're going to break out to the next level or, or whatever it is and see how far, how close you can get to it. You know, you may not be able to achieve that giant goal, but the marker is seeing how close you can get to it and keeping that goal in mind and getting closer and closer every year is really an important uh, thing that I feel like you should keep in mind. So as we enter the new year, and we renew our spirits as, as they tell us to do, clean the slate and, and make anew, I want you to remember that the walls in front of you can be torn down. They're just walls. You are a force of nature. All right? I want to know what you think. Leave a comment. Until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Namkov, Fading to Black.